start of the trip, boys and girls. We're headed to Wyoming. Austin and Jeff have a Wyoming rifle deer tag. So we're just headed up to meet them. We got quite a long drive ahead of us, but we got the bike. We got the pack because we are backpacking in tonight. Trying to do like two day stints, see if we can find a bigger deer back in some of these basins. But it's been a rough start to the year. Hunted a lot for archery. Just could never get it to come together on my target buck. So we're gonna move forward for a minute on to a rifle hunt. See if we can go help Austin get it done. He's honestly had a lot of time up there scouting, but the deer numbers this year in Wyoming due to the winter kill were just very low. So finding big ones has been rougher task so i'm just hoping i can help him out help him glass a few bucks up that we want to look over and see if we can find one that he's willing to pull the trigger on but stay with us we're gonna be moving moving quick we gotta get up there get on the bike and dump up a few canyons so we got a heavy pack heavy load this trip with all of our gear on it should be a fun time stay with us Austin, what we got going here? Uh, checking fuel. But checking fuel. We're not gonna on the sporty. We're we got a little road. Gonna be on our feet. Yeah. This looks rough. Right there. Heavy little load. <laughs> Call me the man, but three miles in on the dirt bike. There's one pack, two pack, three pack. I'm a shuttler, baby. Single track through my bitch. Welcome to the game. It's Thursday. The hunt opens tomorrow, so we're just getting in here, as you can tell. Then it's a son of a bitch. Because these things are heavy. But the bike made quick work. We're in a good basin. So hoping we have the ability to see some stuff, some big gear. Get all the way on top have some views but I think we're gonna make this camp so we made this primo camp just for us this is money made it to the first glassing knob it's six o'clock hunt starts tomorrow so we gotta find Austin a freaking meal deer let's do it okay we've been glassing for a good 10 minutes and what'd you find Austin oh we got a four point it's hard to tell how big he is it's pretty like good we'll point. show you the clip here See, his backs are a little crabby, but he looks wide. I can't see. Very good. Like, I mean, he's got a good frame. Yeah, it's just hard to tell. He is a good, he's a four point, just straight, but I can't see no eye guards. He's like my dad's Wyoming bucks. Okay. okay. Sun's going down. So we're going to move and glass this front face, but two deer, one buck, good buck. A doe and a cow. As far as the numbers are against us, we're having fun. We got something new for you, so take a look. Not the most eventful night, but we got one nice buck a doe, a cow, and some bighorn sheep. That's all we got. So we're gonna bomb off with some beautiful clouds. And head toward camp across this face. Meet you at camp. For the first night, you gotta cook bomb stuff. This is the whole slab of elk. So we're gonna throw it in our little jet boil here. It's not even a jet boil, but you get the gist. We're gonna have to do it in half sections because it's a small pot. It's a chilly morning. Alright. Just left camp. We're up a little late. Let's go see if we can find them. 
Okay, we're still hiking. I had to drop some layers. It got very toasty. It's getting a little later in the afternoon. No deer yet. So we're gonna waste this glass. Now we're gonna sit on most of the day, but we'll see. We'll see. It's early in the morning. I added a little extra weight to my pack when we entered last night. But I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. We got a purple monster. It slaps hard. Slaps way hard. And a s'mores pop tart. That's how you get your morning going. Feeling great, feeling good. You got seven does we've seen, no bucks, and five humans. So even when you think no one's around you because you're deep, they're here. Yeah, they're here. We found a buck, and it is deep. We can't really tell how big he is because we're glassing like way too far, but we just spotted a buck. He looks pretty decent. I'll show you where he's at. He's sitting in that thick pot of trees right there on that cliff line. Okay, confirming now. He looks like a four by two. Can't put anything on the one side, but he's far away too. But this tells you why you got a glass all day because that buck was moving and it is noon. Noon o'clock. He's still moving around, so. They're up, they're moving. It's hot. Yeah, it's warmish. Almost a shooter. Yeah, it's iffy. You gotta go over there and look in that canyon and see if there's something else. Yeah, it ranged where he was and it was 1506. <laughs> so, we gotta make up about a thousand yards to get in on him and just try to get a better look. But he moved from the cliff side. He went straight down the cliffs into the bottom. So we were hoping we could bed him in those trees before moving, but unlucky. All right, I got a hot you guys. When you buy jackets, make sure you get the no-name ones that like are Patagonia ones. Patagonia. Because when, when you don't get the nice ones, they do this. <laughs> New headlamp for Cindy, so thanks for that. And you know, they're coming out like I told you guys. They got dark on us quick. It seems like it's light when it's on camera, but it's dark. They got the trail ahead of us. Okay, we're back at camp. Got a little stoke going. Got a little pot of water going with some floaties. Just reading that. Look at it. So this is just something that we bought <laughs> chicken teriyaki this should taste phenomenal two two deer that were decent but tomorrow we're packing out we got to go find a new spot so it's late well guess what we're doing <sighs> we needed water look at that that is clean water we're at the river top we just drove the bike down like a quarter mile but i got the Catadayan or whatever you want to call it, but this thing's baller. Yeah. We filled what? How many water jugs up in that backpack? <laughs> yeah, we filled up all this. So this is how you can survive on water. It's tasty. Hey, yeah, it's move camp day. They're all down. We got the pack loaded. We're gonna start our descent, go find a new area. Just not enough deer here for us to stick it out any longer. Only seen two bucks and two days, so on to the next. But should be an adventure getting off this hill. This trail is not an easily done trail on a motorcycle, let alone walking. It's three and a half miles, 16, 1700 feet of elevation on side hills. So wish us luck. Gotta thank Shaner for this one. 
the WR light work. I just got down in 30, 45 minutes. That's three and a half miles in. Jeff and Austin still got to walk their packs out. It's just a little too hairy to be shuttling downward. That pack alone, I mean, I'm talking I'm at 80 pounds or so and you're riding downhill on side hills that are just like this. So it's sketchy. If you make a mistake, you're definitely getting hurt and you're definitely not getting out of there. So we're not gonna take the risk multiple times. Keep us in your heart. We got back to base camp. Now we are loaded up with smaller little packs. We're gonna go do some glassing on some higher ridges and just see what we can see real quick. Just see if we can figure out a plan for tonight. All night, glassing our ass off, and all we spotted was one deer that we couldn't get the spot around quick enough to even tell what it was. Weird, no deer, and I mean, this country looks pretty good. So I don't know what else to say about it. We got 718 right now. We're gonna mob toward camp because we got 10 miles or so. So, at least, and we hungry. So let's get back. Yeah, we're up and at it. It was a cold morning, but we've got a doe and a fawn already today. So we're finding more deer. We're in some new country today. So hoping for some better luck. This is what's gonna keep us alive. Hopefully. Well, not much this morning, but we're at 10,000 feet now and we're hiking in. So we're gonna go see what we can find. But we're up here. We talked to a few people and they haven't seen much either. So a little desolate this year. But we'll keep on grinding. There's gotta be one, one big one. That's all we need. Dude, that's a stud. Oh, he's still in rabbit. That's a fucking man he is. Nothing that bad. We get up to this knob, we can legitly shoot him. Uh, I don't think so. I think we'd have to get over there. But I'm thinking we're gonna have to leave everything here. Why? I'm packing my shit. I'm getting this on video. Well, I'm thinking that deer is like not it. gonna be able to hide anywhere on that whole fucking mountain. Yeah, but uh, dude, he's still in velvet. That's a freaking beautiful buck. Deep forks. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go kill him. We need to go kill him. I'm just thinking if I leave my shit here, it'll be easier. Gotta get on the move. That buck's probably a thousand yards away or more. And he's a good looking buck. And that's, that's the first year we've really seen today. Bring with horse. So Austin's gonna dump his shit. I'm gonna bring the film crew. And we're going. Let's get after it, boys and girls. This is go time, Austin. Because we're on the move. We are on the map. This train is nuts. And we gotta go shave. Actually, a thousand yards. I ranged him. He's at 1,543. And we wanna get to 500 at least. We got the big gun though, so. We can shoot farther if needed. We gotta cruise. We gotta cruise. You just got it. Oh my gosh, I pushed below. I couldn't find him in the trees and I just hear the gunshot. 
That one worked perfect. That worked perfect. That worked perfect. Is he dead? Did he come out perfect? In the red? What? I couldn't even see him. So he came out across? Yeah, he moved up right back to where we saw him. I never saw anything. Well, I was standing there looking uphill, so I didn't even look downhill. Yeah, if you would have ran out the bottom, I would have seen him. You would have seen him too once you started looking at me. Because he didn't run right like next to me, right out of the tree line. So he ran out the bottom, he ran that way. But I didn't, there's no way I would have missed that. We got blood. So that's a good sign that you hit him because he didn't have a spotter because I worked down below. Well, we just screwed up royally. Austin's looking for blood where he hit over there. And the deer was bedded right there. Don't know how we missed him. Again, he just jumped up and started running. Doesn't look like a great shot. It's been an hour and 45 minutes since we shot the deer. And we did see it. It made it down canyon on us. So Houdini slipped us. You can see it bleeding. Just looks like he hit it a little far back. So I'm really hoping we can find it. But I started heading back across this face to get my pack while Austin followed where the deer we thought went. And as I was walking back, I saw him go up over the the edge of this little hill here in front of us, way up in there. And now we've kind of funneled both sides all the way down. And I, I watched to see if he came out the bottom because this is open. He never came out the bottom, but we can't see him. And we have a guy that's camping kind of down Canyon that's went up high to kind of look for him as well for us. So we got three guys and no luck. So it's looking a little grim. Perfect setup. I don't know. Don't know how we could have got it better. It just just happens. Nah, it's deer hunting for you. That's why these beasts are so hard to kill? Because they are elusive and they know how to hide better than we do in the woods. That's a big deer to lose. So we're gonna have to spend some time tomorrow looking. Cause he's hurt, he was definitely not running, he was walking, but he's out walking us. Okay, it's noon, Austin's just suiting up to go back in and look for that deer. So we're wishing him good luck, hoping he can find it. We did have a guy in that basin that was helping us look that is camped. They backpacked in, so he said if he'd find it, we did give him Austin's number as well. So we got a few options to maybe recover that deer, but just fingers crossed, hoping it works out. That was a beautiful deer. Sucks to hurt them, sucks to lose them. Never want that, but that's kind of hunting for you. Okay guys, I got home last night and Austin was packing up this morning and just called me and the guy that we talked to in the basin that we lost the deer found his deer this morning. So he sent him an onyx pen. Austin's going back in to retrieve. So we got some good news. Big buck down. Okay, we're going in to get the buck. It's been two days since I shot him. Um, Kevin, my man, he was up in here and we gave him our number. I gave him my number two days ago and he was hunting in here with a camp and he said he'd give me a call or text me if he if he ended up finding him and we were actually down in the dumps not feeling good we went to drive home today and 
I got to service and I got a text from Kevin and he says, I found your buck, here's the pin, you just gotta go in and get him. So we're probably about a mile from him now. And we're pumped, we made it up in here though. Dad made it, it was a long freaking drive in here. This fat this guy is, still made it. This is what the basin looks like. We gotta hike to like these trees way over here. So, where we came from already. yeah, up over this ridge behind us and that way about a mile. So, it's gonna be fun. I'll probably be freaking out here in about 20 minutes, but That's let's awesome. go see him. I haven't seen him yet. I'm assuming I'm going to here pretty quick. There he is. Holy. Here he is, guys. He didn't make it. There he is. Holy frick. He's a freaking pig. He's a freaking pig. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy. Holy crap! <sighs> Holy crap! Holy crap! Look at that thing! He's a giant! Woo! Well, was it worth 14 points? Yeah. That was what we were after, right there. Right on! That's a big deer. That is a monster. That is so cool. Oh, now the work begins. Storm. We gotta start the out. Dad's back there, poor I can help. This is dream come true for me. Dream come true back there. And I'm glad my dad was with me to come recover him. Chase, thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, bro. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, bro. I wouldn't have made it in here. I wouldn't have found that buck, so thank you. So, we gotta hike back to the truck, but we got a big buck down.